Hi, today we will learn about patterns and sequences. The diagram shows an arrangement of canned drinks. The first row has three cans. The second row has four cans. The third row has five cans. And the fourth row has six cans. Let's make a generalization of the pattern of the arrangement using numbers, words, and algebraic expressions. Using numbers, we can generalize it as 3, 4, 5, and 6. By using words, we can generalize it as the first row has 3 cans, and each row below it has 1 can more than the row before it. Finally, when using algebraic expressions, we need to create a table before we could make our own assumptions to generalize it. For example, in row 1, the sequence is 1 plus 2 equals 3. In row 2, the sequence is 2 plus 2 equals 4. In row 3, the sequence is 3 plus 2 equals 5. And in row 4, the sequence is 4 plus 2 equals 6. Now, we can generalize the pattern of the arrangement as n plus 2, where n represents the number of Kendricks in the n row. Each term in a sequence is known as a term. For instance, in a sequence of 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25, the first term is 5, the second term is 10, and the third term is 15. Can you determine the eighth term in the following sequence? This sequence begins with 4 and the pattern is obtained by adding 3 to each subsequent number. Therefore, the next 3 numbers will be 19, 22 and 25. So, the 8th term of this sequence is 25. In conclusion, a pattern is an arrangement of numbers, shapes, colors, letters, and so on, that follows a particular rule. Whereas a sequence is a list of numbers, geometrical shapes, or objects that follows a particular pattern.